How's it, everybody? Let's see. Do we have focus? Yeah, we got focus. Hey, everyone. How's it going? For some reason, the stream, um, I should probably maybe just lower the volume a little bit, maybe in my own head. I'm not sure how the volume is on your guys' side. Um, let's check. This car probably could be used like, just a little bit lower. How's the volume? Volume good? By the way, chat's over here, so every now and then when I look this side, it's just so that I can read. So yeah, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to another to another live stream. Let's see. Yay. Yeah, how's everyone? I'm pretty sure a lot of people are more excited about uh, seeing what we are editing today rather than hearing me talk. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to chill a little bit. I'm going to see what is up and yeah hear from you guys a little so feel free to spam chat a little bit there we go stream is starting to look healthier for some reason earlier like it was just buffering through the through the waiting thing i don't know why so i just quickly started and like stopped and started it again you know it doesn't work turn it turn it on and off again yeah so Who's looking forward to seeing what we're editing today? Hey, how's it going? So yeah, um, if you guys couldn't tell yet from um, the well, the whole uh, caption and the name, the title of the stream, it is we're going to do some dramatic low light portraits. We well portrait. We're going to edit one. Uh, because these editing t processes take too long and tends to take up a whole hour, which is more than enough for a live stream. So, yeah, it's always good. So, yeah. And again, sound good, bad, all good. Stream seems healthy. Yeah, everything seems quite, quite good. Yes. So yeah, it's been hot as hell. So as well, we also gonna have a little bit of a um, more chill time because the studio and especially with all the video lights is something else right now. It really is like it is proper, proper hot right now in front of this line. So we're also going to take it a little bit uh, more relaxed for that. Okay, music turn it up a bit. Okay. There we go. That should be good. That better. Yeah. I don't want it um, too much, so it um, overpowers my voice, but yeah, I think that um, should be good. My mic, turn my mic up a little bit. Um, okay, I can, I can do that. Let's see. Are you sure your volume is just not low? Because my mic is um, pretty, uh, well, according to my levels, pretty uh, low good for now but I can uh, raise it up a little bit like okay here we go okay so your volume is full okay um yeah if that um, if the mic can to be turned up a little bit there we go that should be better cool is that better should be better hope it's not too loud now So yeah. Okay, cool. So that's good. Hey, our chatbot is working today as well, which is cool. Something I set up um, after our last stream. 
Yeah, so I'm going to switch over to the um, to the next scene, which is pretty much going to showcase what we are uh, doing today, what we are editing. So there we go. Now you guys can see what we're going to be editing now, which I think is pretty cool. It's one of my uh, favorite photos of um, last year, actually, and I just have not gotten to edit it just yet, which I'm pretty excited to get started at. And I know currently it's a bit small, but yeah, it's just to kind of get a peep before we switch over to a full on um, view of what we're editing and where my screen becomes smaller, where my ugly face gets a little bit less, you know, so. Cool. Okay, I'm happy. Mic's good. That's good. It's hot as hell in here. It really is. But also you can't really put on a fan when you live stream because it just picks up all the ambient sounds, you know? So, can I just have to uh, bear with it for one for this? So yeah. Cool. So I think I was just gonna, gonna jump straight into it. Um, I can still every now and then look over to chat and see what is up. Um, yeah, if I am missing something, uh, just leave it in chat so I can go look at it. So let's transition over to the full image here we go later we'll go back to a big a bigger camera of me which i don't think is necessary i'm not not that good looking so here we go so yeah this is the image that we are going to be editing today and firstly like the way i like to start off with all my stuff is i always make this helper layer here which always helps me a lot and that's pretty much why it's called the helper layer but it helps me a lot just to set everything up so everything flows nicely so i don't have to open up new things that it's already there waiting for me so yeah that's pretty much why i open it up immediately with every photo and then firstly what i do when i start editing the photo is um, i start uh, doing healing which is just pretty much working on skin and just slight imperfections uh, like she's busy getting this tattoo removed so she doesn't care if um, I remove it so we're gonna just be removing this today without trying to damage uh, the textures too much so let's just move that mic over there yeah so that's pretty much what I do first yeah and obviously you guys can tell that she's getting it removed because it's you know it is a little bit patchy but yeah it's gonna take some time also I don't want to distract anything from the whole photo if she doesn't want this in here then we don't have this in here something that is going to allow us to be a little bit more um, more particular of what we are doing so we don't lose detail within the arm And I know there's um, some artifacts and stuff showing like this hot, solid line here, but we are going to fix that in a little bit with some skin smoothing and all of that, just to start blending it back in again, just to kind of balance it out, because I know that is very apparent right now that there something was done there, you know, it's a very harsh line, which doesn't really occur naturally, but we're going to, we're going to fix that. That's going to be a quick and easy fix. I don't feel it's necessary to fix it right now, um, because it's just going to be so much easier to fix it later. Like I said, we're just going to take away some distractions. Again, the, the focus of the face is obviously the obscurity and, you know, the mouth and all that. You know, that's, so that's what we're heavily going to focus on. I am going to 
darken this up a little bit to create some mysterious but we'll see uh, some mystery but we'll see what happens a little bit later um, in the photo because sometimes my ideas change depending on how the photo is starting to look and starting yeah, just to become just takes a little bit of playing around and just kind of feeling it out as it continues And as for here, as stupid as it seems to edit this, it's very important to do your your hair because um, it just it shapes the face, it shapes the overall look of the image. So you know it, you you don't notice it, but if there's enough hair in a certain spot that is like um, noticeable, it starts changing the whole shape of the photo. Even though it's hair, and we you know we're pretty much okay with it, you can just really improve your photo so like so drastically by just changing. Um, just the amount of hair that's in certain areas. And also, as far as photographers go, you get uh, like proper pixel peepers that would legitimately go and look for all these um, mistakes and go, oh no, I would have removed that. If the photo's good, the photo's good, you know, but uh, <laughs> just kind of how people are, I guess. And just to find a fault in something that they might like, just to kind of prove that they are better than you, I guess, but. <laughs> this looks finicky as all hell. But having this spotty hat is really a, just because of the type of fabric is going to be a pain in the ass later. You're going to definitely notice it and you don't want to. So let's, we're just going to start adjusting that a little bit. Like you'll see now when I, see what I mean? It just creates a nice more, more flat look to the hat, which is quite nice. So yeah. This is the most tedious part of the whole edit. The, the rest that you start seeing definite effects. It's because of um, when you start editing, you mostly working on the smaller details to kind of just get them all in check. And then you don't really notice how it's affecting your image until you take like a step back like we did, like when I showed you um, just editing the hat. So this like, you just feel like you're doing nothing. It just feels like you're being meticulous and you know, a little bit of, um, you know, it just it doesn't really feel like you're doing much when you edit. But you know, when you get to a point and you take a step back, you definitely see a massive shape change there. So, which is quite nice. But as far as um, details go right now, uh, there's not much more I would actually, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna um, start blending in a lot of this, which is gonna just transform the whole like overall shape of the image. This line here is what I'm going to be the most concerned about when um, doing some skin work, but we're going to combat that as it comes. Um, firstly, I think I just need to just soften that up a little bit by changing maybe to this brush. Let's see if this brush is going to... Stamp, clone stamp, and do this. Just need to reduce the harshness of that line so it's just not as heavy um, to blend later because that's going to be the biggest uh, challenge just to blend that in later. And that spot's just bothering me. Not that you'll notice it, but it is bothering me. So, there you go. If 
Every now and then you see me do a stupid move like that, just be aware that is Photoshop streaming and editing at the same time is very uh, CPU intensive. Cool. I think that is that. Now we're going to do some skin work, which is my favorite part of the whole editing, because this is where I feel I literally transform the photo completely, which is amazing for me. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, like I said, chat's right here. I can look at it. Maybe sh I should scroll. No, no new um, threads. If you have any questions feel free to ask and i could just have a look and answer so there we go frequency separation ready to be used anybody who don't um who doesn't know yet uh this is what i use to do my frequency separation and skin smoothing super powerful tool really really love it a lot it is just so useful um i pretty much without it i, I pretty much couldn't uh, make the images look the way they are it's just it's such a i've gotten so used to just having it and using it it's just a phenomenal tool so if you guys are looking to kind of up your editing i definitely recommend looking into getting yourself frequency separation for photoshop it's a plugin it's very very useful it's so powerful and it just um like i said it just look at the difference in the arms it just transform it. The big reason I, I, I like I love it is just it simplifies my workflow to such an extent that you know it. I wouldn't want to do what I do without it. It just it, it would be too slow. And we're gonna do this because we're gonna focus a lot on the tonality of the image, and we're gonna start to edit this thing in black and white. So. cool again while you're busy doing this um it's sometimes difficult to notice what you're doing so you just need to be every now and then um i, I can start like i get used to seeing it but every now and then just switch it on and off again you know so switch it on and off so you just can tell uh what what you've done so you don't go a little bit too far where you start changing shape that's why i like um skin smoothening in uh, black and white because i can actually see what it does to uh, the light because that's one of the biggest things you're going to combat after this is um, flatness in a photo and that's um, something just caused by the fact that we are moving um, we are blending the textures together and sometimes when that happens when you're blending textures together some texture detail like some of the highlights in the darkness areas just blend into each other and you get these weird blotchy areas or very harsh dividing lines that you have to fix uh, later with dodging a burning uh, so I just like doing it this way because it saves me time by the time I get to dodging and burning I can just focus on um, Doing a little bit more of creating the three-dimensionality of the photo versus um, Having to fix all problems, so That's why I like doing it in uh, a black and white style as if I am already dodging and burning because I have full trust in um, the software and the tools that I'm using and to actually already um, work the skin, which you'll see immediately once I take it off, make the skin nice and smooth. Um, but I have full faith in the software to do it and you know my workflow to compensate for the fact that I'm not looking at the skin, but I'm looking at the colors. If that made any sense, it made a lot of sense in my head, but when it comes out in words, it's, uh, yeah, it's just something else sometimes, but if it doesn't make sense, uh, please just say uh, say in chat that I can maybe, uh, you know, try that again. <laughs> again, doof, doof. 
and you'll definitely see the moment we um, change this over to uh, color again which is where I think I'm gonna keep this image is in color um, even though it looks sick in black and white and I'll probably just maybe tweak it for a black and white version of it but um, yeah such a such a cool pick really love it I think it looks really cool on stream so <laughs> up here so something to be wary of sometimes when you do do a little bit of this uh, frequency separation and you get close to other edges you can um, start blending edges away and then it has this weird ghost look which kind of sucks so that's why I want to work in this area a little bit more in finer detail um, just to kind of avoid that uh, ghosty look that it could cause Hey, how's it, Mike? Big changes, big changes. We haven't even gotten to the face or the lower body yet. There we go. areas it's even though it looks so dark probably right now for you guys as well to see it's definitely a very important um, part of it um, and you'll immediately notice the difference uh, once you've done it and then there you go it's uh, like I said still very important even though you think it's not it's very important to look at these minor minor details and work them because that's uh, at the end of the day that's that one thing can throw the whole photo off and right now as much as I'm skin smoothing I'm also uh, layering the light just to kind of give as much depth as I can and then the moment we're gonna change this to color it's just gonna transform it and then we're gonna do a little bit of dodging burning which we're gonna go back into uh, black and white edit so that's gonna be yeah the whole idea behind this is pretty much gonna showcase and have a look at what I've done so far because that's the fun part it's just seeing what you've done this we might go into color to do first gonna see what we've done Big thing to remember when doing this is you're gonna work on minor details for a large scale versus having pretty much the whole thing. Um, so yeah, when you're doing this, don't don't just fixate on the fact that you're close up because you're never gonna look at this photo to this extent unless this is the photo. So if you're working on the photo that is like this, which is most definitely gonna be um, zoomed out because we all know the size of this photo I'm um, going to zoom it out, no, no, it's better to every now and then take a step back and then switch it on and off to see what you've done 
just so that you can see some inconsistencies in the area. It's just so dark right now. Let's see. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's some inconsistencies here on the cheek that I want to fix. So we're going to go back into this and we're just going to start working that a little bit again. Because at the end of the day, this is the this is the size of what the photo is going to be viewed as. So you want to make sure this is what people when people see this is perfect. Like it's all good to have it such fine detail fixed, but the majority of people aren't going to look at it at that level. This is where the editing's at. I know I'm being quiet right now, just zoning in so that I can get this line perfect, but we're gonna maybe have to do a little bit of dodging and burning just to get this perfect because the blending seems to be um, this, because of the shape of the hat shadow, the blending is having a little bit of a tough time just getting the skin looking 100% the same. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of dodging and burning on this, which is fine. We can immediately get started on that because we've done everywhere else and the faces was the last part. Just wanna see. Yeah, we can do a little bit more of skin. See, so as you guys can see, a little bit of inconsistencies here because of the way we were blending earlier. But that's what we're gonna now change with dodging and burning. So yeah, that's what we're looking at now. And first thing I wanna do is actually start with burn because that, the areas that are in question have a little bit of weird light spots in them. Now this is where the microscopic details are going to come in. So, uh, if you guys want me to, if you guys want to see what we've done, uh, just leave in uh, like, just just leave it here in chat, just so that I can see um, that you guys want to just see the before and after, just so that I can um, you know showcase it to you guys. Still all good. Balanced. Okay, just a little bit of discrepancies here and there. I'm so used to having a little bit more of a um what's the name? A brighter subject. So uh, having to focus on such small detail like this right now is uh, a little bit different, but it's a lot f like it's a lot of fun. So 
we're gonna start disappearing the eyes a little bit now and we're gonna start making them darker McDonald's seriously hell yeah thirsty I had some for lunch today breakfast of champions man creating some some contours some shapes Just a little spot over there. Small changes, big results. Small changes, big results. Cool. For interest's sake, I think everybody is quite interested to see where we've come from. So let's do this. Let's wait for. There we go, before, after, before, and after, before. And after, this is what we've gotten to. And we're not even done yet. We're gonna start shaping, filling in forms. We're gonna start making this thing look amazing. go back to this so we can start blending in this little ridge here that's throwing me off Again, minor detail, big result. I think we can even remove this one, yeah. Okay, so just out of interest, what um, one thing that I noticed the first thing in this, this story is the photo's most noticeable area is this one because it's the brightest, the chest area. And we want the face to be more noticed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna darken this and lighten this area a little bit now, now just to kind of give you guys a heads up. We can just brighten there and lower there. But, Okay, so we'll do actually do that now. So first thing I'm going to look at is the chest area. There we go. Okay, I'm just going 
gonna say? Go with I. Okay, so we're gonna match the brightness. Which is about there. You'll see method to madness here. Then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna bring it up. Just want to make sure that it's just the face because that's the area that I really want to see you guys. Now we've evened the whole picture out. I'm just going to actually move these two up here. <sighs> Photoshop. I know you're struggling. So now you guys can see we've when I switch that on and off we've equalized the area now with that area equalized we can um, actually bring back the brightness a little bit uh, again um, but now because it's equal you're not going to have um, competing uh, brightnesses in the photo so that's kind of where the method came like the method to the madness came from Photoshop. I know you're struggling, but seriously, come on. Okay, then all I want to do is just darken those areas. As you guys can see, big change, big change. Now we're going to go back to the old dodging and burning that we were busy doing earlier but now we're going to make the whole thing shape a little bit more 3d if that makes sense if you guys have any questions on what i'm doing if you guys feel like um you're getting a little bit lost in what we're doing um just shout and i'll answer as best as i can
Okay. Check how cool that hair looks now. Everybody's still good, chat went very quiet all of a sudden. Everybody's just really intently looking at what I'm doing and just waiting for me to make a mistake. shape that side in a little bit more to kind of give it a um, less straight line I don't like it's uncomfortable it's a straight line down her neck I, I love the flow but I want a little bit to kind of shape her face a little bit that's the idea that I'm actually going for you I wanted to shape her face a little bit more so I'm probably gonna um, liquefy this is a technique that I actually use a few times in the photos just to kind of get the shape that I'm looking at um, just so it like looks a little bit better in the flow but what I'm gonna have to do is gonna have to take all of these that we've done so far copy them and merge them to create hey holy crap we've already almost done an hour holy crap. yeah to create a new layer which um, everything is gonna take effect on so that's what we're gonna do And now, just gonna bend this in a little bit. And the same thing you can do with straps. The straps were a little bit tight because of like the position that she's in. If she, the straps were a little bit tight, you can adjust them a little bit afterwards. So it's a cool way of just um, kind of getting the shape. So yeah, as you guys can see, we've reduced the amount of hair that's there, but we've kind of given it a little bit more um, shape. Yay or nay on the move? What do you guys think? More hair? Let's see. To be honest, I think I made a mistake, which, yeah, wouldn't know it until I've tried. E. I do want to fix that strap. I think I end up preferring uh, the more hair. I was just experimenting. Whatever gets the photo there, eh? Okay. Thought about something that I also want to do. I'm going to open up another dodge and burn. And... I want to just dodge a little bit. 
here. Because when we did do a little bit of um, frequency separation, it flattened her chest. So I just want to create some um, round and shape to it. She uses the uh, the whole thing about just uh, editing with layers, and it's just like you build up so many layers at the end of the uh, end of it all. It's just insane. Add a little bit more, just yeah. There we go, and then maybe a little bit more dodging. Again, guys, like like I said, if you have any questions, or you fo following along, and you just just quickly want me to uh, take a quick break, uh, and just so you can catch up, uh, please, 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 just shout. I mean, you can shout, I can't hear you, but if you guys uh, want me to uh, stop, please just put it in chat. If you just want to just catch up or something. And if you guys are wondering why I'm just like randomly touching faces, I'm, I'm used to seeing this by now. So I don't always need my helper layers. I'm used to seeing what is in front of me and uh, I know where to kind of go looking for some weird obscurities. And I'm pretty used to now by, at this time in my life of doing it so many times a day, I'm used to just seeing, you know, places to go fix. Right. I need to see where we came from. Boom. Boom. I, I'm loving this. Let's switch over a little bit to uh, full chat. So what do you guys think so far? You guys in learning something here? And if you guys are wondering about the McDonald's, it's because I'm thirsty and this studio is literally killing me. But I'm pretty, pretty happy with the way this thing's looking so far. I mean, what's nice with it being in a um, completely blacked layer is I can actually even create this as a, um, how can I say, uh, a landscape photo. So I can just add to this photo. I can just make it wider. And you've got this cool uh, isolated look like where she's just straight up in the middle. I think it, uh, like that's, that's something that looks really cool in this type of shot. If she's just straight in the middle, and it just creates such emphasis. So that's something cool. How's it, Mike? Any questions? It's going well for me. Um, like I said, just struggling with heat. But yeah, it's going well. How's it going with you? Later, I switch over to chat, seeing as you guys are also seeing the, have seen the whole editing process so far. So yeah, any questions, guys? Any so far? I'm just taking a quick break and drink just thinking of my next move come on don't be shy if you guys have questions there's literally no no wrong questions here actually um I know everybody says that, but you still feel kind of like scared to, to ask, but like I really, um, it's what I love doing, so I really don't mind answering anything that you want to know about the whole uh, editing process that I take and the extensive uh, amount of detail I fixate on. Come on. I think I can talk about stuff. Um, I know a lot of people could, like ask me about the plugins that I use. Now, the plugins that I use are namely uh, Retouch Academy, um, MBP's plugins. I'm also an ambassador for them. Um, and also Infinite Color Panel. Now, if I had to like recommend like for, for workflow wise, like for stuff, if I had to tell you what to get 
what I can't um, or what I would get if I had to choose out of all of these I would definitely get my frequency separation the other things that I use in the other ones is um, a lot more simpler to recreate without the plugin but the frequency separation is something that's very feel like um, time consuming and the fact that you have this very powerful plugin that actually just uh, simplifies it like an action for you much like so quickly that you can just pretty much jump in at any time and just go for it which is such it's such an amazing tool um, for like for somebody like me that does this type of editing um, so I would pretty much choose frequency separation as my um, number one have to get uh, otherwise um, retouch Academy if you're looking at buying one plugin definitely retouch Academy is something that is great because it does offer a few other things um, not just skin smoothing it has a few other options that you probably have seen in previous lives of mine that I actually use it's namely like I I love using its um, it's I what it's called magic eyes um, action that it does it really just enhances eyes so nicely um, pr provided if you use it correctly but it's something I like to use for that but it also comes with some frequency separation not as powerful as MPP's one in my opinion but you know if you're looking at you buy one and get a slew of other things I definitely would say that is probably a, a good option for you but for me if I had to pick one of all of these, um, MVP, frequency separation, bar none, it's definitely my topic. So yeah, people just uh, are very quiet today. So we're going to switch back to uh, full on editing and I'm going to get at it because we have reached over the hour mark, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we're going to finish that up, finish the photo up and end the live stream. But we still have a long way to go, so let's um, let's get at it. Yeah, so right now all I'm doing is um, thinking of this as a cylinder, as a, as a round shape and trying to create um, recognizable uh, depth to the photo. So where it's a little bit odd shaped, I try and reduce that uh, by either adding um, light or, so, um, or subtracting light in that area. So that's what I'm looking at right now. darkness up here there is the mystery is what at the one of the most important things I want out of this photo so I'm focusing heavily on making um, mystery in this photo but also making it as fashion as possible by creating scape depth and uh, you know obviously good shapes good shapes is actually what makes a great photo Also, something to remember when you're busy editing is you um, tend to not realize what layers you edit on after a while. And also you tend to not realize um, that sometimes you do nothing for a bit. You get so fixated on what you're doing that you actually can trick your own brain in thinking that you've done something. I've done this many a time with uh, this. Like it's just the, uh, the level of detail that you start fixating on so heavily that um, you just kind of get lost. I would say is the best way to explain it, but also not. <laughs> and I've done this so many times that I can't tell, I, I can't even like, like tell people like, 
really you you kind of get very fixated on what you're doing Cool. Everybody's still good. If you guys are wondering why, like, also why I, I'm spending a little bit more time on this one than normal in a sense is this image really um, captured me the moment I took it. I was very, very happy with it. And I really want this picture to come out great. If you get what I mean, like it's, um, it's, a, it's a photo that's like very, like it was very impactful for, to me when I took it. So I want to just make sure that it gets its um, moment in the spotlight. And making sure there's enough depth in the photo. I think that's like the most important thing that I'm trying to f create here is the amount of depth that I feel this photo needs. And the amount of tweaking that I need to do in such small spaces and details, like to get it there is just unreal. But the results are gonna speak for themselves. And I think that's what I like. I guess that's at the end of the day like at the end of the day that is the you know obviously the goal here is to create an impactful meaningful image for people to enjoy Okay, we're gonna have to go a little bit more in darkness in this because this is where it's gonna become a little bit more, um, don't wanna but like it's not cliche, but real. So I'm gonna bring up the brightness just for this section, just so that I can see what the, what what's happening. I mean, this photo immediately in black and white is also just amazing for me.
Whew. Okay. Okay, let's do switch that off and then go to the top here. Switch this off. Okay, just some dodging a bit, uh, some burning required on this one now. Okay, might have to just add a little bit more and I think we're going to start getting to an equalizing point. Perfect. Check at that. That was the goal. Just it needed that just that little bit over. Nice. Now let's see where we come from again because damn I was Okay. There we go. Now all I want to do is just a little bit lower that down. In this area just for shape perfect love it Now, if you guys want to check out some of my um, the, the other plugin that I'm do, that I use, um, we're gonna do that in a second. I just want it. this is so bright. This needs to come down a lot. Then we'll start doing some um, coloring. 
I'm, I'm gonna see like like that, that plugins they like it's a randomizer so The plugin is a randomizer when it comes to a color grade, but it is a pretty powerful one at that. Um, so yeah. I mean, it looks pretty cool when it does its thing, you know. that and put that down to 50 and see what it does Alrighty, soaking it in. All right, soaking in the information or soaking um, in the sweat that I'm currently trying to dredge out of my glove. Um, <laughs> cool. I, I, I'm glad. Um, okay, cool. So you're <laughs> soaking it in and eating. I'm glad, man. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy of how this thing is turning out. We're getting to the point of uh, so many layers. Yeah, that shape, love it. And the color on it looks pretty cool. The big thing about the color grade sometimes, it just kind of reduces the um, sharpness of the image, which is not a f something I'm a fan of. So I'll see if I keep, uh, keep the color grades um, on it. But I think for now, Let's add some sharpening because we are we are at the end game of this photo. I mean, man, that thing in black and white looks cool. Uh, not gonna focus on that right now. I know there's uh, I have a few followers that love black and white, but we'll see what I do with the photo. So we'll see because now we're just gonna sharpen it and. There we go. It's a little bit of sharpening. I have other method of sharpening as well that I will be doing. But as you guys can see, just bring some little bit of detail back in the face. There we go. And what's nice about this is we can um, crop this in any format and I think this image is gonna look cool. It's just one of those symmetrical images. So, I mean, we can keep it literally at this crop and then boom, got yourself a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> but I'll decide on how I'm gonna crop it. That's the thing. That's the thing I struggle with. I like shooting correctly in camera. But when I get images that I can crop, I just never know what to do with them, so. There we go. See what I mean? Got a cool thumbnail look there. Love it. Really do. Man, that's gonna bug me. I need to sort that out. A little bit. There we go. There was. A See, when you get up close and personal of the image, you get a little bit of a, a bump there. The OCD is unreal. Anyway, 
We're not going to crop this image today. We are... Zero. Snap two. Snap two. There we go. Just waiting on Photoshop. Time. There we go, we're back. Yeah, I'm super happy with how this one has come out. Probably a few little minor tweaks, but this is the before. And before, and this is the after. Let me know what you guys think. But for that, we're going to switch over to the intermission scene. I'm just gonna sit a little bit, I'm gonna talk a little bit, and then we're gonna say goodbye. So if you guys have any questions, anything that you wanna know, you can still see the photo. Um, if you have anything that you wanna know about the photo, or about anything that I'm doing, even if you wanna know a little bit more about my McDonald's habits, it's all sort of fine, feel free to ask. And then I can um, let you guys in on some secrets that you feel like you might wanna know a little bit more about. But this is it for the image you guys are gonna have to check out my instagram to see how it turned out so i'm gonna give it five more minutes okay yeah see the stream is getting heavy now i'm gonna give it five more minutes any questions any questions uh any questions and then we're gonna sign off so yeah yeah computer has suffered through this one because of the amount of layers that we actually added in this one it's actually pretty pretty extensive it's actually pretty cool but I'm super happy I'm super happy with it Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna apologize. Um, stream is struggling a bit, so we're probably gonna just stop it. Uh, oh yeah, okay, cool. So we're getting some questions. Okay, absolutely brilliant, crazy attention to detail. Hell yeah, that's something that you kind of have to do when you do these type of edits. It's um, slow process, but the results speak for themselves. So that's why we focus so heavily on it. And it's at the end of the day, it's a large understanding of where the light was coming from. Um, a few things that I want to change about it is um, I wish the light was a little bit more frontal. A little bit. It's a tad off to the side and you can see that by the one side being a little bit more illuminated than the other one. Which we can tweak and I'm probably going to do that. So that's something you guys can be um, like looking forward to in the finished image. But you kind of have to when um, the image is all, like, like looks like this. But guys, um, I'm gonna actually call it here. I see the computer is struggling a little bit, so we're gonna be at an end. Uh, I really appreciate everybody for showing up. Um, I hope you guys learned something. And yeah, we'll do a little bit more lives every now and then. Um, thanks to everybody that's voted on the Instagram and to tell me which what they would like to see in my future uh, videos. Um, so, well, not future videos, but anybody like, that commented and responded to what, when they would like me to stream so I can do this more regularly for you guys um, as like a show and something you guys can maybe look forward to. So that was really great hearing for you guys so far. It, Thursday was the winner, but if you guys have any suggestions, please.